CBS 4 News. Now at 11, tuberculosis death, a confirmed case of TB at a South Florida hospital. And now, people who came in contact with the woman must be tested. And we begin with this story all new tonight. The woman who died is a 28-year-old nurse from Columbia. Good evening, I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Erica Sargent. She first got help back on March 17th. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana joins us live from outside Aventura Hospital where the woman was being treated. Lauren. Erica, Rick, hospitals are required to report cases of tuberculosis to their local health departments, and that's exactly what the Miami-Dade County Health Department says Aventura Hospital did when a woman tested positive for TB. The Miami-Dade County Health Department confirms this is where a woman with tuberculosis spent her final days. A physician with the department says the woman, a 28-year-old nurse from Columbia, arrived at Aventura Hospital on the 17th. She died Saturday. The hospital alerted the health department of the case, and now additional testing is being done to those who lived or came in close contact with the woman. Tuberculosis is a disease caused by germs that spread in the air from person to person, either by coughing, sneezing, speaking, or singing. Symptoms include sickness or weakness, weight loss, fever, coughing, and chest pain. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, there were 9,582 reported cases of tuberculosis in the United States in 2013. That was down 3.6 percent compared to 2012. The CDC says there were 536 deaths from TB in the U.S. in 2011, the most recent year for which the data is available. A Miami-Dade Health Department physician says there were 130 reported cases of tuberculosis in the county last year. Now, tomorrow happens to be World Tuberculosis Day. The CDC has a wide variety of resources to help educate the public. We've linked to those on our website at CBSMiami.com. Live in Aventura, Lauren Pastrana, CBS4 News tonight. Lauren, thank you. And